Hey y'all. I know it's been a while. It's been a few weeks since I've posted a video um, or done anything. Just Christmas was, the holiday was really busy, steady but busy and really, really good. And um, I did get this finished up, but I just hadn't had a chance to, to do the video. So um, I posted some pictures of the ones I did for me and Peyton uh, in junk journal connections in the Facebook group and here's the here's the one I did for me um, this is the one I did for me so this one is very similar but it is not identical because I used this fabric instead of the jean um, this one I had plenty of jean to do this with and I didn't have enough jean to do it to do it the same way plus I didn't want them to really be identical but um, and then this is the one I made for my granddaughter. I, I made her this bag to put hers in. And this was, this was in a kit that Renee over at GT Designs sent me. And, you know, it's been like a year. <laughs> and I finally got these done back around Thanksgiving. But um, I'll just real quickly show you Peyton's. So Peyton's is a little bit smaller. It's not the binder. Um, it has a little cowgirl on the front and the image from this fabric is a little bit different. This is the one with the three, um, the three little girls on the tricycle. Um, and it's bound in. So I did like six signatures in here for her and put her a little charm on here. Um, the little horse heads came from my friend Phaedra. And some of the little, um, some of the little pieces I bought, some are vintage, some Renee sent me in the kit, um, the little one that says Country Girl, and I don't know if you can really see that, but anyway, so this is Peyton's, Peyton's book, and then on the back, I put her a pocket, a blue jean pocket with a tag in it with some of the leftover fabric, and this fabric I got from Diane H. over at Pretty Pink Cottages, and she had a set of fabric which had like the the paisley this fabric this horseshoe fabric this really cute fabric with the little kids on it and um some other western it was like a bundle of western type type you know bandana type fabrics and and this really cute uh, fabric with these images on it and i've used every little bit of that that i can <laughs> Um, but that's Peyton's, and then this was this was the bag that I made for her, and I did everything I could. It took me a while to figure out what I was going to do with this that came in that kit, because it's needlepoint, and I did not dare cut it up. So I made her a bag with some recycled jeans and the horse um, needlepoint on the front, and put her some extra things in there for her to use. And she got that for Christmas, and we're going to work on those together, so we just got to do pictures. But then I had plenty of stuff left over, so I thought, let me do another one and put it in my shop. So when this video goes up, this will be listed in my shop. And this is the five ring binder. Oh, and I'm hooking on the twine over here. So this is the five ring binder, and it's eight by ten. So it's yeah. Well, it's like eight and a quarter. So it's like eight and a quarter by 10. And then the spine is about two and a half or about two inches, maybe. And then the back is covered with this, with this fabric. This was an old, um, this binder was actually a microwave cookbook binder. So it was like maybe eighties. So it was in pretty good shape, but you know, just, it wasn't pretty. So I covered it up. And then put the, made a pocket here and used the um, ticking and some blue jean and then stitched this fabric on with the little girl on the horse and the chickens and the other little girls pulling the ropes for the horse. Put some little vintage buttons here. And I made a little, I made a heart. Let's see if I can get this to focus. So I made a fabric heart, and then I stitched on, it says photograph and memory. So I just did like three layers of jean, well two layers of jeans, and then um, the middle heart has been kind of gessoed, so it gives it some sturdiness. And then a piece of a flannel 
piece of fabric and stitched around it and added a star and some buttons on it. And then the charm has a Elda sort of leather looking button. It's not real leather. The horse button, some vintage like brass buttons that came from my favorite shop. The little horseshoe that came with this charm pack. Another vintage button and the little boot. So the little boot and this little admit one and the little horseshoe, that came from the charm pack that I purchased. That's not vintage. And I've just clipped this all on here with a little uh, vintage pin. So you can take that off if you don't want, that bothers you on there. If you want it somewhere else, you can take that off and move it around, use it wherever you want to. Um, so all in all, the journal has about 48 pages so front and back that gives you 96 pages and then you know there's a lot of fold outs so there's a ton ton of space in here for journaling and you know whatever you want to do put photographs um, I'm going to use mine for photographs and journaling and all that good stuff so I put jean pockets on the inside and did some little um, little like fabric clusters and put some buttons I clipped this little this little horse, just like a little metal horse um, on here as a little, it's kind of like a little charm that you can move him around. There's a, a fabric tag, and this is on the back of some vintage, this is a vintage, um, like a file folder piece, like the dividers. And it got a little cankered up, but you know, it adds to the charm of that. One of my homemade star buttons and some fabric. And I, I just love these little images on that fabric. And then here I just made a little tag. I just stapled a vintage milk carton tab on there. And this is just a tea dyed tag. And this is from um, the paper line that's in here. Some of the papers that are in here are from a uh, um, Seven Gypsies paper line. So these are the little journaling cards. And you know, some of these, like, I did not put this in my granddaughter's journal. So, and if you don't want that, you can take that out. But, uh, you know, some of these little kiss your cowboy goodnight. Stuff like that. All these little, um, these little country sayings. So, this really is sort of like a, you know, it doesn't have to be a horse you know, like what I'm using it for is not necessarily a horse theme journal. It's more like a, I don't know, like a country, you know, um, farmhouse kind of theme book too. You know, it doesn't have to be, it can be whatever you wanted it to be. But, you know, a lot of it, of course, is Western. So there's uh, several of these scrapbook papers that came from Seven Gypsies that what I did was I folded them over so that you have this huge... Um, you know, fold out sheet. So it's like 12, you know, 12 by eight piece of paper in there. And then I put some fast stitch, some fabric and put some buttons on some of them, put some tabs on others. This came out of, uh, one of the vintage, um, well, this was from the eighties. I think it wasn't the older one, the cookbook, um, binder that I had. And then just some little, this was a little paint chip that has the barn on it that I thought was cute. I made a pocket, a stitched a pocket with some paper here. And this was one of the little, one of those little vintage uh, food cards. And it's um, making, you know, homemade ice cream. And I thought it fit with this. And I put some little pieces of fabric and buttons on there. Um, just some card stock. I stitched down and put a little tab. So that when you come through here, you know, you can just kind of flip it out like that. This came from my 1947 um, child craft book. And this is called The Hayloft. So I thought that was really cute. This is just another piece of cardstock that has a little card on it with a little, um, little fella on a horse head. These are some... Um, this is a page from that Preserves book, which I absolutely love. A page from the Handyman, the 1951 Handyman book. One of the um, tab pages. Put you a, um, a slide sheet protector in here. You know, and you can add, these are two by two, so you can add all kinds of little things in there. Little bitty pictures 
um, patchwork quilt page that's in the pocket. That's the pocket. So you can tuck things in there. Just a black sheet of cardstock. Uh, there's two of these in here from that vintage binder that I have, the recipe binder that you can put things in. And in these I put you, a, this was a vintage postcard that came in the kit that Renee sent me. Um, so I put some of these in here. And I stitched it at the top and the bottom because these are old and I didn't want them to come apart. So I've stitched it up here and then at the bottom. So they're not going anywhere. And this is another beautiful page from that preserves book that I absolutely love and I'm, I folded it and made it into a pocket. Another piece of scrapbook paper. And I just took a little tag and stapled some little tickets and a star and just stuck that there. So this folds out. A ton, a ton of space in here. Um, this came from a Springtime in the Country book. And you can, you probably can't see it down here, but it says Springtime in the Country. And I cut it down to fit in here. I just thought it was beautiful. Piece of acetate. A uh, piece of that beautiful, um, that paper that I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations. It's like a, I don't know what they call it. It's like a straw paper. It's really cool. Another piece from the quilt magazine, or book, vintage quilt book. This was from a vintage, smaller little recipe book, but it had the lamb and the pork chart and sausage and stuff, which I thought, you know, kind of cowboyish. <laughs> so I put that in here. This is from a kid's book. Another page from the uh, cookbook. I think this is, yeah, from the 80s cookbook. So beans and rice and stuff like that. It's, you know, cowboys to me. And then I put, um, or country. I put two recipe cards, moon stitched a pocket here. Another, um, Beautiful image from that springtime book. Some more scrapbook paper. It looks like the bar bar fence and I stitched some fabric on here. Well, yeah, I stitched some fabric on here. And then this is one of those um, old dividers that has like January, February, but I covered it up on this side. So I stitched this cool um, book page from a reader on the back side. And then on this side, I made a, I put a pocket here. And this is just, um, this is from some fabric I bought, like a placemat that I bought at my um, thrift store. And then I took some things in here, like a vintage um, flashcard, another vintage postcard, and another vintage uh, recipe card. I'll just stick those in here. This is another page from the Preserves book, which I just, I just love these. I love these. You know, that country, that country feel, those images. <clears throat> Another one of the uh, photo divider pages. Well, actually, it's meant for recipes, but it's four by six, so you can put four by six photos in it. And this is another postcard with the bulls on it from Renee's kit. Another beautiful page from that springtime in the country magazine. And that's actually, most of that is, in North Carolina as well. So I thought it was cool. This is some more of the Seven Gypsies paper. And I just stitched a little Alamo card on here, made that a tuck spot. Another, um, well not another, but a piece of that beautiful ledger that I made into a pocket. Another piece of that quilt patchwork quilt magazine that I just stitched together and made it to a pocket and put a little tag in here. Red ticking on one side and it's, yeah, I cankered up. I was having a time with my sewing machine doing this, but it, it adds to that kind of scraggly Western type feel I was going for anyway. This came from another, um, I think it's that same kid's book. I think the book was called, I don't know if y'all remember this, it's from the 60s called The Horse That Lived Upstairs. Yeah, it's a really neat book. I mean, the pages are nice and, and uh, thick. So, like, on this side, you could definitely, you know, um, 
paint on it or do some inking or on it on it or whatever you want to on that side or either side really and this is another um this is from an ideals magazine and i made a pocket out of it another piece of just cardstock and i put and made a pocket here and a pocket here um, these were the inside pages of the, or this particular page was the inside page from that preserves book, and I just loved it. It's like that, it's not, it's like that sepia um, color, and I made a big pocket and made a big tag out of some of my recycled in and out um, file folders that I had, so it just fits right in here. And my sewing machine is in the way up here. Yeah. Another piece of scrapbook paper. And on this one, I took a little piece of uh, fabric that one of my customers sent me um, with a little girl on the horse and the horse. <laughs> thought that was cute, so I just made a pocket there. This was from that same, I think it was from that same book. It might have been two different horse books that I had. No, it was from the same book. Another tab with soups and sauces. Pocket, huge tag here. So you could actually you could actually use this as writing like if you wanted to write you know you could use that to to help you write on in here a piece of red cardstock and I just stitched some fabric on that another um, section from that vintage smaller recipe book with Phil and beef another little um, kids book page and I think this came from the kit Renee sent me with the horse and it has bell horses on the back. Another horse image from um, the other book. And I just kept these, like, I pulled this book apart so some of them were together like this. You can cut them apart and use them however you want to. This is from another recipe book. It had baked beans and things like that. So I made it into a pocket, stitched around it. So there's a pocket here. Another piece of scrapbook paper. Stitched some fabric on there. Another quilt piece, pocket, and then another one of these, and, and you can cover this up. Um, but this was from a vintage book about horses, and I just stitched him, I glued him, and I stitched him on here, and then just left that blank. And then in the back, you have another pocket, and there's, a, um, there's an alteration tag and another fabric cover tag. And this, this is um, made out of the leftovers from this where I cut this down, this file folder divider, and then a little, you know, another little cluster fabric. And then that is the back. So tons and tons of space in here and um, just lots of fun stuff. I had a really good time, had a lot of fun making these. I'm really enjoying these binders. Um, I'm afraid. So, that is this journal that will be available in my shop when I post this video. And along with this, I'm gonna send you a, a big pack of like little, there's little scraps in here. There's some twine and some rickrack. And um, so there's some blue and white, some black and white. I think this is blue and white. Red and white, some blue, some blue rickrack. Um, some twine, a blue jean pocket some little scraps and then some bigger pieces of like the red check a piece of the two pieces of the ticking which um i don't part with lightly because i love that stuff and it is not <laughs> like i can't find it um it's never on sale let me put it that way some other scraps in here a piece of that um same fabric that i use the um oh my gosh placemat a piece of that. This was from a flannel shirt. Some a little scrap of leather. Um, just other other pieces that you might be interested in using in here. And then another um, bag of goodies here. So I'm not going to go through all that, but there's a ton of stuff for you to play with, and I'll probably even add a few more things in. But um, anyway, I hope you all um, like it. Leave me a thumbs up. Um, Leave me a comment if you do, 
And uh, I hope everybody's having a great day and a good weekend. And I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.